So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 35, summation from j equals 1 to 5 of 2 times 3 over 2 to the j minus 1 equals what? This is a finite geometric series. So the answer is the sum of the first five terms of this series. There is a formula for a finite geometric series, but honestly, there's a strong chance that you haven't memorized it, and there may not be a lot of value in memorizing it than trying to recall it, risking the possibility that you might forget something. We're only talking about five terms here, and a lot of times on these tests, you don't have to necessarily remember formulas that are powerful enough to add hundreds of terms. If you know the basics of how a series works and what the question is really asking, you can probably just add up the terms. There's only five of them, right? So let's do it this, this manual way. And if, you may think this is tedious, but if you can rattle through this quickly, it may end up being the fastest way for you to do the problem. So what this is really asking us is for, for the values as j goes from 1 to 5. So we'll let j equal 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. And we'll find the individual terms. If we find the first five terms and add them up, we can see which, which answer it turns out to be. So when j equals 1, we're really finding a1, right? So let's do that. When j equals 1, we can find a1. So we just plug in 1 for j and see what happens. We get 2 times 3 halves to the 1 minus 1, which is 0. So anything to the 0 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. That didn't take a long time, right? So we'll just... Let's just run through that procedure. j equals 2, we're finding a2. So now we're getting 2 to the 3 halves. Now it's 2 minus 1 is 1. So basically the exponent's increasing each time. And then we kind of see the pattern too. So 2 times 3 halves is 3. When j equals 3, we're finding a3. And the pattern continues. Now it's going to be 2 over 3 halves to the second power, which is 2 times 9 over 4 which is 9 over 2, and I'm not even going to simplify it to a mixed number or a decimal. I'd rather just have an exact improper fraction. j equals 4, now we're finding a 4. We have 2 times 3 halves to the third, which is 2 times 27 over 4, which is actually 27 over 8, isn't it? So that's 27 over 4, ultimately. And then j equals 5. We're finding a 5. This is the last one we have to do. 2 times 3 halves over 3, which is 2 times 81 over... Well, this should be the fourth power. 81 over 16, which turns out to be 81 over 8. And then without even working out the uh, decimal equivalents or mixed numbers for these. Let's just pump these directly into the calculator, add them up and get the answer. I get 26.375 and that's choice B. That's the best answer. If you see this and you dive in right away and just get to work, then you can solve this problem in under 90 seconds. And to me that's better than trying to remember some formula and forgetting what's what possibly uh, get mixed up and, and ended up getting it wrong. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.